Okay then, so here we are with the last of chapter one's mixed questions, and we're going to look at the challenge question. Okay, so they want to know, they want to first simplify. And they want us to simplify the square root of A plus the square root of B times by the square root of A minus the square root of B. Okay, so using FOIL, okay, so we're going to multiply A squared times A squared will give us just A and um, A squared times minus times minus b, square root of b, will give us minus a b. And then as we do b times, square root of b times the square root of a, we get plus square root a, square root b. And finally then, as we do the square root of b times the minus square root of b, we get minus b, which means these two terms, the blue and the red, cancel each other out, meaning that we come down to a final answer of a take away b. Okay, now then, part b of this challenge asks us to look at the idea of show that the fraction 1 over the square root of 1 plus the square root of 2 plus 1 over the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 plus 1 over the square root of 3 plus the square root of 4 plus continuing on all the way until we get 1 over the square root of 4 plus, sorry, not 4, 24, plus the square root of 25 is equal to 4. So, the first thing I'm going to look at doing here is I want to multiply every fraction by 1. And when I multiply it by 1, I want to take 1 over the square root of 1 plus the square root of 2. And I want to multiply that by the square root of 1 minus the square root of 2, which will have the effect of rationalizing the denominator. And by multiplying that term by one, in the same way that we would change the denominators on any fraction, we can then hopefully get a, um, an answer that's close to 4. So when we multiply that out and change that fraction first, and then we'll continue and do all the other ones in the sequence. Okay, so doing the bottom row, square root of 1 plus square root of 2 times the square root of 1 minus the square root of 2. From what we just did, we're going to have a minus b, so we're going to have 1 minus 2 okay as our bottom and on top we're going to have the square root of 1 minus the square root of 2. Now as we come down and simplify that out the bottom is minus 1 so we end up with the square root of 1 minus the square root of 2 over minus 1 and so we end up with minus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 2 all over 1, and we don't even need to write that bit down, the over 1, because it's just over 1. So we have changed it from 1 over the square root of 1 plus the square root of 2, and we have changed it to minus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 2. So in that idea, when we were to do the same idea with the second one, we would end up with minus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3. Okay, so that was 
let's just put a line in there that was dealing with all of that fraction and then we will have as we come down here for the next fraction leading down it would give us minus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 and then the next one would give us minus Use my square root and then next one would be minus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 4 and this would continue on until we ended up with minus the square root of 4 24 plus the square root of 25 So as you come down, hopefully you can see that the square root of twos would cancel, the square root of threes would cancel, the square root of fours would cancel, and that would continue all the way down until we got to the square root of 24s would cancel, leaving us with just these two terms here, which is minus the square root of one, and plus the square root of 25. So we have minus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 25. We know this is 5, square root of 25, and the square root of 1 is 1, meaning we have got minus 1 plus 5, which is 4, which is what we wanted to show the original sequence as.